This morning, we're asking, is that character that you saw there on your screen racist? Joining me, Ash Sarkar, senior editor at Navara Media, and Manik Govinda, who is a writer and arts mentor, and who has his Free the Springfield One T-shirt on in support of Apu this morning. Um, it's interesting, Ash. Uh, Apu has been part of The Simpsons since it started back in 1990. Is the character racist? So I'm not one of those people that thinks that if you're South Asian and you like The Simpsons that you must hate yourself on some level because it's so racist because of the character of Apu. I don't take that view. What I think is that comedy has changed a lot in the intervening nearly 30 years. Mm. So while in 1990 when there's a dearth of South Asian comedy writers or actors. You know, this idea of Hank Azaria, a white guy, giving the voice to Apu, yeah, it's kind of funny, but nearly 30 years later, the writing feels a bit lazy, a bit stereotyped, and it has had some negative real-world effects on South Asian people. So there have been many times where I've left a pub or, you know, been walking down the street and someone's done the Apu voice just yelling it mm. at me. Um, and that's clearly not the writer's intention of The Simpsons. I mean, The Simpsons has, I think, enriched all of our lives in some way. It's a, it's a cultural institution and long may it continue to be so. But I think it is definitely time for a change. Um, Manic, do you think it is a lazy, crude stereotype? Or actually, does Apu as a character have more depth than that? He's got a lot more depth than that. Um, I mean, he has an Indian accent, you know, and so many people, uh, immigrants from India, uh, who work as shopkeepers, who, who uh, opened uh, small businesses, have an Indian accent. So there's nothing stereotypical about that. That's, uh, that's reality. Um, I think he's got a lot more depth. Um, what's wonderful about Apu is that he really is a, a kind of blue-collar immigrant American hero, I think. Um, excellent degree, excellent uh, qualifications. Um, he did uh, arrive as an illegal immigrant, but then naturalised to become a, uh, an American citizen. So he holds this uh, uh, dual um, identity of being uh, Indian and American, quintessentially both, and I think you know, um, uh, very much part of the community of, uh, um, of, of The Simpsons. He's made good friends there, that's why he decided to stay in the, in the community. Yeah, Ash, that is a very positive light mm. Apu is painted in. He's hard-working, he got his US citizenship, he loves America, he loves his job, he works hard. Is that, is that not a positive take, then, I for people to watch The Simpsons look at Apu and go, well, yeah, actually, he is a positive mm. image of Southeast Asia and immigrants. I mean, I absolutely don't think that this character has been written out of malice, right? I'm not an Apu truther by any stretch of the imagination. But in some early interviews from the 90s, when um, Hank Azaria is talking about how he came up with Apu's accent, he mm. says, like, I just wanted to make it as offensive as possible. And so that... Indian accent and you know lots of people in my well, own family have an Indian main, accent isn't it is when, like... when you look at all the other characters as well you look mm. at the uh, the police chief you look at the local politician you look at Homer Simpson himself you know the caricature of middle America big pot belly beer guzzling, uh, exactly. you know, a bit but rough with his son. The, the difference is, is that that's not going to have real-world effects for people in the same way, because, like I said, the character of Apu is written when you don't really see very many other images of South Asians, particularly in America. And I think now, after we've had the Mindy Project, after we've had the career of, um, you know, Hari Kondabulu and others, we've got different expectations so of our comedy. OK, so in that sense, then, Manik, how can we modernise Apu, rather than get rid of him, because then you won't have any representation Presentation on screen at all? Does he need to be updated? I, all the characters in The Simpsons have not aged <laughs> over the last, you know, nearly 30 years. So um, it doesn't feel. I mean, they, they, they are frozen in time in many ways. Although they respond to a lot of contemporary. Would all um, this die down if it issues. was an Indian actor voicing Apu? Well, um, I mean, you know, Hank uh, is is a great voice actor. You know, he's an award-winning voice actor, and he does a number of characters. I think we should, you know, if he wants to do it and if the Simpsons producers want to keep him, that they, they should keep he him. He has said that he's open to the voice actor being changed. And another but... thing that he himself has suggested is diversify the writer's room. I've been blessed enough to work in a writer's room a couple of times. Mm. And when it had a range of people from different backgrounds, people were firing on all cylinders. You had really smart, really funny, you know, really on-the-nose comedy writing in that kind of situation. OK, That's... this was a point that was made um, by somebody on Twitter yesterday.
What is the difference between a poo in The Simpsons and a British comedy like Goodness Gracious Me, where they have very strong accents and the whole uh, mm. Indian culture is overplayed and they poke fun at themselves? What, what's the difference? For me, it's a very different thing when you are making fun of your own culture and then you're showing it to a wider audience because it's you being in control of it. Humour is a great... Uh, means of social co cohesion, people getting to know each other, but you can only do that when it's someone of that background finding okay. the foibles. Well, Manic, does that mean we can't them, make we can't well, make fun of each other anymore? The, the, the worry is that um, then you have to basically stick in your own lane about you know characters that you write that you know I can only write about uh, uh, an Indian uh, Asian character because that's my cultural background. That would really narrow creativity and uh, comedy and arts generally if we are only allowed to speak from our own experience or um, uh, make fun of our own cultures. Yeah, it's the stay in we, your we own do, lane, yeah, but isn't yeah. that and, the and I would rather who representing the fact that, you know, he hasn't stayed in his own lane, he's come to America and well, explored great, that culture and, you right. know, <laughs> blended in. But and do you think that if you had a diverse writer's room for The Simpsons and you had perhaps a South Asian voice actor for Apu, that the, writer would get, the writing would get worse or better? I mean, let's be real, none of us have enjoyed an episode of The Simpsons after season nine, season ten, if you're being generous. This thing about it being well, frozen, 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 you know, <laughs> frozen in time is that... Um, the writing has become more and more sort of outlandish in an attempt to find something funny, and it's really, I think, lost what made it great. And I think in an attempt for um, this, like I said, this pop cultural institution, which I love, I wouldn't watch anything else when I've got a hangover, in order for it to be revived, I think it needs an injection of new blood. I mean, Ash, you, you've amazed me there, because you're saying that everyone in the writer's room isn't yellow, uh, which, you know, <laughs> everyone in The Simpsons is. I mean, Manic, what is the answer? You know, does The Simpsons have to conform? Because you've got other shows. I mean, it, it's a bit dated, but it's from the same era as The Simpsons. You've got South Park, mm. which, you know, mm. is massively South offensive Park. and goes so far the other way. You've got other cartoons that, you know, are, are more inclusive. The Simpsons has its own little niche. Yeah, and I think The Simpsons was, was a pioneering um, um, uh, programme. It, it has, you know, opened the doors for lots of other great uh, animation comedy writers. Um, and um, if people want to create new characters, then let's, they should be pitching that to the producers and to the TV stations and looking for new stories. I don't think that you have to kind of put everything onto The Simpsons show um, to um, change... Uh, Okay. Uh, representation. Well, one thing we can agree on is hashtag save a poo. Nobody wants to see the, uh, the end poo. of a poo. Uh, Manik Govinda <laughs> and Ashtaka, thank you very much. So